about a few days into it. But we don't want to rush into things about the design and development just because we want to reach out to a greater market. Mm, for me, this project seems to be very focused on how you are implementing formulas on access. That's the main testing part we are trying to find out because I think the most parts of the mass of the maths are going to be implemented via the via the application of formulas. You see? So here is a representation of how I've broken down whatever details they've given us in the paper into single sentences so that you can understand what you're trying to deliver to the database system. Looking at this, we have steps. Considering that there are, there are almost 10 steps, I've made it quite simple into a simple paragraphs, sentences, and I've created this document. This is a flowchart design of just words. But apart from that, I've also designed the flowchart. Because here, we are working on decisions. I think there are multiple decisions within the database system. But all in all, there are a lot of, a lot of details to capture with the database that are required so that you can answer the questions after you have designed a basic picture of the database. Now, this is a flowchart of that database. And you're looking at everything step by step until the last part where you talk about revenue allocation within the clubs. Yeah. So I would like to offer you this type of development, which is step by step. I'm looking at every point here. I'm looking at how I'm going to offer myself to students so that you know that whatever I'm giving you, whenever you're going to deliver this project, you will have attained the maximum marks. Because everybody is in a rush to design the system because it's a first come, first serve basis. But I'm looking at it, I'll be uploading every part of the video as I do every session. This is the flowchart, it's two pages, complete with all the data that is required by the question paper. Generally, a flowchart has to involve the basic structure of the database. The decisions have to be implemented. Errors have to be generated whenever the user, the member, does something out of order. That's the point of the flowchart. Because we want to know what steps are we taking. Are we going left? Are we going right? Are we making a decision here? Are we choosing a choice here? At first, Victory Club membership management system has to admit a student because the school generally admits a student. What does the school do? They give he or she an admission number, give a name. They also provide us with a class. And then we go next to, now that you're a student in our school, you have to register for clubs. I've made that sure by creating a text box citing that this is a required step for this system to work. Register for clubs. Now, within this register for clubs, there's a decision that you have to make. That, hey, are you going to choose a single club? Are you going to choose multiple clubs? See? Now, for you to do this, for you to do this, you have to come the database because you are registering for a club. Yeah, since you are registering for a club, you are doing this and you are doing that. Choose a single club, choose multiple club. There are costs there. Now here within the clubs, you are choosing multiple. We have to have a formula. Whenever a person chooses multiple clubs, how much is the person going to pay for those particular clubs? And we also have to know that if it's a single club, this is the amount that that person is going to pay. Now, has he or she paid? Yes, we proceed. Has, she, has he or she paid? No, we stop there. Now, you have to come here. Let me create something here. So here now, there is this. Okay. Okay. Now, 
of says error please make payment there we go let's make this bold let's make this red let's make this Now, after he or she has paid for the fees, what do we go on and do? You have to assign membership classification. That means, now that you have paid for the fee for the clubs, are you going to be a regular member or a general member? Are you going to participate in all core activities? Are you going to be an executive or a leader, or leadership position? That decision will be made there. At this point, at this particular point, is where we'll make the decision. Okay, then we proceed. Having selected the type of membership that you have. Now, as a club, who is your patron? Here is that step. Now, now that you have selected the patron, we have our membership club. And as a member, you can now go to the UI and log in whenever you want and whenever it's good. Now, as you are log logging into the club, all I want to see, okay, these are our members. I can display that in reports. Now, uh, how can I register to be a member for this club? Yeah, you can do that here again. Now, here, as a club, you are required to have an activity. You are required to have an activity. It is a requirement. It is not a choice. Now, it's either, but we'll make it as a decision because we have to choose, like, yes, we have an activity. Amongst those activities, debating tournaments, Merchandise sales, fundraising events, fundraiser events. Uh -huh. Enter the details for the activity, create an activity name, the date of that activity, the amount collected, and then allocate the resources for annual division of resources of among those clubs. And that's what this flowchart for Victory Club membership management system is. Okay, for more details, you can check out the, the section below here. You'll find the details for what is required for you to get this flowchart how much you will pay for this. I'm not going to exaggerate the price because it's just a simple flowchart. That's it. Every milestone will be charged according to the necessary work we are doing. So it's not much. Just reach out, call via WhatsApp. It's all good. But payment has to be made so that we can proceed simple steps at a time. So that whenever it reaches even the third month after your holidays you guys will be have done the project and proceeded with everything else thank you